Link in the description for the non time version of this video, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of episode 6 of One Division and press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. Now, I want to talk about Agnes. Because I rewatched the first five episodes of One Division, and she is the standout variable who just became obvious in episode five. For the first two, maybe three episodes of WandaVision, from what we now know, Wanda herself did not seem aware of the nature of what was going on. Not the TV show stuff, not that it was her doing, none of it. Uh, she seemed to be just as into the illusion as everybody else. Um, I, I go off of, uh, her reactions when she's alone, uh, mostly in figuring this out. I'm not sure. I could be misreading a few things. But that's my, uh, take on it. Agnes going back to at least episode two has small moments where it's like, she knows she's acting. It, it's, it's more than one or two things, so I'm actually pretty confident uh, that this is the case. And a couple other things. Agnes, it, when uh, we first got to know more about S.W.O.R.D., when they did their lineup of uh, people on their wall of who they'd identified, was the only uh, character they showed that they had, hadn't yet identified, which concerns me very deeply. Secondary note, she's always drinking. You know how she's uh, had that sort of alcoholic streak going uh, in that the recent episode? You, glass of wine, uh, you know, something, anything, almost always in her hand. That one, I have no idea what's going on with. I do not know exactly um, where they're going with this. But I don't even know if she's a bad person or not. Like, a good person or not. Her character is going to be the, the big monkey wrench for me of whether or not there's a big final twist with where they're going with things as far as the internal story, let alone what's going on with Quicksilver, which one of the commenters helped clue me into in the previous episode. Forget that. <laughs> oh. I think it, it's... Very plausible that Wanda just needed, like, a producer, someone to make the TV show work. Uh, so she either brainwashed or created somebody to fill that role. And created is, I'm only considering it because of, uh, the fact that she's still unidentified. But to some degree, I could also see this person being a bad guy somehow. Like, for some reason, wanting to do this. Because uh, the, the reason I think that she'd possibly be running the show a little bit uh, is because you have scenes like in during the magic show, you know, when uh, Vision starts doing the actual superpower stuff. He's, uh... When he first does one thing... Everyone's surprised, but Agnes is surprised in a much different and more, you know, just kind of over-the-top way. And I'm kind of wondering if that's evidence that Vision has been going off-script since long before episodes, uh, four and five. I'm rambling. Let's start episode six.
Sorry if I'm a little groggy. I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. All right, here we go. Do, do, do. Starting episode six, when the timer reaches zero. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> now I hope this episode immediately picks up where it left off because of the significance of course And if the stuff that is going on with Quicksilver here <laughs> is as significant as it could be, oh no. <laughs> My thoughts that they might uh incorporate Doctor Strange a little bit, especially given his upcoming movie, or was that a Thor movie? Very uh plausible. Oh, is that like her as a kid? <laughs> is this friends? Nah, um, Malcolm in the middle? <laughs> but yeah, that's my main guess right now is Malcolm in the middle until I think of, uh, Another, because it's sort. Of, I, I, it's been a long, long time, but I sort of remember the credits going a little like this, and I could be way off. But this seems really familiar. Okay. Drake and Josh? Centering the kids as the main characters. Ha <laughs> ha. I absolutely love the shift. I'm a little. <laughs> That's great. Yes. <laughs> Cut away gags. <laughs> oh, we're almost definitely going to cut back because they made a significant point of how, uh, you know, Vision at least thinks she he can't be controlled like her. Which, another thing I wanted to bring up is 
there are a few cutaways where she definitely does control what he thinks or does. We just really don't know what goes on in the in-between. So I want to see that. I'm very curious. So I think we're going to probably get a flashback at some point in this episode to the end of last episode. Because I... They've been giving us the last few episodes one major, major revelation. At least every episode. So I don't think we're going to have an entire episode of just, eh, here we go. Start the timer at 4.13 and 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> a part of me kind of wishes she, she looks at this outfit she's wearing now uh yeah, obviously the comic outfit and is like hmm, you know most of this is corny but we can incorporate a little bit of this into the usual get up <laughs> yeah, that's my main guess is Malcolm in the middle. Even Stevens? Oh, especially with Pietro filling the role of the older brother. Sort of. Yeah. This is the most straight this has been played since before Monica got ejected from the, uh, uh Pleasantville. But yeah, we are either mid to late 90s or early 2000s for our TV show of, show of choice. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Forget good person versus asshole. She is just right on the logic front. I, I'm putting myself in the shoes of truly believing Wanda Maximoff is just a monster. Like, she needs to die. She's, like, let's say she's Adolf Hitler. She's just absolutely this terrible person who needs to go down. 
She's still right. Monica is still right. <laughs> like, there is no scenario under which asshole here, whose name I don't remember, but he doesn't deserve it anyway. <laughs> there is no scenario under which he is correct here. You're just... Okay, okay, there is a scenario under which he's correct. It's, we need to do as much as we can to gather more information than we have now. But I think we need to kill her. Like, there is a scenario under which that is the correct mode of thought, and he is not under operating under that scenario. At all. <laughs> Uh, he's like the the general Thunderbolt Ross and how he deals with the Hulk. He just can't see any piece of logic that's actually useful. This is it's mind boggling. It's like I would be thinking this if it were Thanos in there and <laughs> he was like you know basically you know, he needs to die. This ends, yada yada. Yeah, that sounds all sweet on paper, but we don't know how that works. I'm gonna be mad if no one at least mentions Doctor Strange in this show as our, as the, uh, A, most magical Avenger. Uh, you know, definitely beating out Thor, honestly. And B, the person who knows the most about Infinity Stones of people they know of. Maybe Captain Marvel, but... Either way. Good God! Starting the timer at 8.06. In three, two, one, go. I don't care, dumbass. Okay, cuz... Whoa, really? I figured a phone call would be more useful than this. I was thinking, get, this guy can't have just entire unilateral authority over what S.W.O.R.D. does. Somebody gotta be able to put a phone call in. Be like, hey, uh, this dude is acting cray cray. <laughs> Tiny Quicksilver and Wanda is their their costumes. his outfit. Oh, it's got the scars worked in. That's really good.
Now, why'd you get the call about this before it happened? Ooh. Now, okay, is this just TV show stuff, or is he inventing reasons to be out of her sight? Which comes back to the thought process of she's not aware of every aspect of this script. At least not consciously aware. Oh. Background character crying. Oh no. I see what they're doing with her now. <laughs> For a second, I thought this was supposed to be one of her kids, and I was like, is this Lizzie McGuire? <laughs> Every part of this show must have been a treat to make, and I'm willing to bet they had, they had to use a few different crews for several of the episodes just for the difference in style. The Incredibles and the Parent Trap, so like 2002, 2003, I think. That would be the remake of The Parent Trap right there. Literally playing his part. I'm interested in what they're doing there, but the accent thing doesn't bug me at all, because people lose their accent uh, after spending long enough time in a country. It just happens to some people, so that's the sort of thing that it's like... I don't really consider it either an, acting, an acting error or a writing error uh, that her accent would be much weaker than we first met her. Uh, I imagine some people are bugged by that. No big deal. Starting the timer at 1331 and 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> now, I don't think we've seen the the other kids' powers and actions. If he turns invisible, it is a little bit more The Incredibles. <laughs> sure, whatever, fine, it's that easy. I'd like if the, the, if she said I created a back door earlier, uh, that I would have preferred.
It's smart to do. Reacquiring asset. That could be... Any other situation, I would think this could be very good. But it's him doing it, Hayward. So, very bad. So he's figured out a way to alter what's going on a little bit. Reacquiring asset, is he because of a, his uh, synthesoid nature? Is he in his head somehow? The little shorts are what kills me with this outfit. <laughs> Wonder if there's any cool costume Easter eggs going on here. Couldn't you have flown in the stupid costume? Or are you going to try and go outside of the... Oh, no! Okay, you're just scoping out the situation. I was like, that could be terrible. He kind of looks like Superman whenever... Like, you know, when he's out, outside of uh, orbit. Uh, outside of the uh, atmosphere. Trying to scope out all danger, just listening and looking at everything. Agnes, yes. He does drink a lot, to be fair. <laughs> oh! What are you gonna do now? No! See, but you are. <laughs> okay. Wicked witch. <laughs> I am thoroughly interested in Agnes still. Ooh.
Is he gonna try? Oh, no. Maybe Monica and friends can stop him? So he'll know it's you right away? Okay. God damn. Was. I would argue, though, I guess he would be better, but he, he's just maybe not as capable of handling it as she is. He, he hasn't made it through his firewall yet, but she just hacked into the entire system in, like, two seconds, really. The cowardly lion. This episode's going to end horrifyingly one way or another, isn't it? You've replaced Agnes with the higher level of awareness. Okay. He, he, Pietro's not the asset, is he? They sort of implied that it was Vision, but... <laughs> now that's interesting. I don't remember exactly how our Quicksilver died. But I don't think that ever happened to, uh... The other one. Those particular wounds, I mean. Hmm. 
they don't seem aware that he is uh been been her biggest problem for keeping things in line. Don't do it, Vision. Don't do it. No. Stop. It's just going to be a corpse that falls over, isn't it? We're going to see. It's not going to have the illusion on it. The case holding him in. Oh, no. The important bit got pulled back in. Whatever it is. Yes. Ooh, cool. You're genuinely in danger. Oh, this is scary. This is horrifying. Oh, my God. Oh. I'm so confused. Putting the whole thing on pause. Expanding her influence. Whoa! <gasps> yeah, I'm excited for her to be in it, but oh no! <gasps> It looks like a hexagon. That has to be so painful for her.
Please stand by. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> So, are the people who are just standing around doing so because she can't focus on every part of the simulation at once? Is her Are her powers getting weaker uh, the longer she has to do this? Or is something else going on? Oh, fuck. And what is going on with Quicksilver? Holy fuck. Her paranoia is only going to grow from here on out. Probably never going to let Vision out of her sight. Are her own powers, as far as controlling the individual portions of the simulation or the, 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 the hex whatever, growing weaker because... Of spreading her, herself to Vision, Quicksilver, and the two kids. Plus creating all those kids to make this, the uh, illusion more believable. That has to greatly tax her ability to control people. It was easier when it was a much smaller cast. This is genuinely a little terrifying, a few of the things that are happening. She's probably gonna engulf the entire world by the end of this, isn't she, somehow? And it's gonna do something. She's creating people with superpowers. Oh, no. Because I don't think that her kids are just going to disappear at the end of this. Next time. <laughs>